success isn't just about financial results. It's about giving back in the communities where we live and work. Penske associates and customers offer their time and effort giving back. Some of it is visible, but so much goes on behind the scenes. Here are just a few of those stories. I have the best job because I have the best emotional paycheck to go out and see a child enjoy a meal and tell me that this is something they haven't had. It changes your perspective. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to do something. Giving should never stop. Find something you're passionate about and that really matters. It should be common to help one another and be involved in not only what you're doing at work, but also be involved with what's going on around you. I think that's why we're here, to help one another. We're out there looking all the time. I'm constantly keeping my eyes open for what do we do next. We need to be there. I'm going to keep fighting forward and finding the next thing. Serving people in need was just a natural extension of what I grew up with and, and how I kind of looked at life. It can be very emotional. It's something that just, it, it warms my heart. This is my passion, but other people have other passions that, you know, we can all help support so many really good people that work for this organization and want to do really good things. Like, we don't just come to work to rent trucks. We come to work and we give back and we help people in our community and it's just awesome. I think Roger would be super proud. The values were always instilled in me that like the military, the first responders, those are the real heroes on this road. Huge respect for them. Like the fact I do this, my parents, the way they look at me and stuff, like I was walking out after I tried on my uniform today and my dad was just staring at me. I'm like, what are you looking at, Dad? He was, I'm just proud of you. And like that, that means the world to me. By definition, we are a ready standby organization to assist the regular Taylor Police Department. And in doing so, we're an extra set of hands and an extra set of eyes and ears. Actually going and physically driving through the schools, the parks and businesses, and see if anything's out of place there, if anyone needs help. The community loves seeing us, and they know, you know, some of the good guys are out and they're keeping an eye on us. We don't get paid for what we do, but it's one of those things, either you have it in here or you don't just a group of people that are passionate about law enforcement and volunteering. Community service through this job that I love, you can go into the places where people need help and be there for them. The way this organization structured is they know you have like a paying job. They work around what you need to do, like your paycheck job comes first. I started out as a CSR and very rapidly an opening came for a technician position. I'm already making a decent wage and a decent living now. The fact that I got so much further I go is awesome. Penske hasn't really ever stood in the way of me doing anything I needed to do. I have training coming. I'm a drill instructor, and they've already talked about flexibility with me there to where I can go and do what I got to do. It's exciting to me that they're giving me that opportunity to do it. They've shown me a lot of love and a lot of respect for what I do here, which is amazing to me. It takes two seconds to care about someone and not be about yourself and help someone out. And the impact that that makes on someone can change the entire course of their lives. Our vision is a world without a food bank. We actually have a vision to put ourselves out of business. I was fortunate enough to grow up in a household that did not suffer with hunger but I had family members who did. And so I had a full understanding of what hunger looked like in communities of color and the impact it had on development. And that compelled me to put my talents to work at Houston Food Bank and, and come support this effort to make sure no child has to go hungry. Food should be a right. Specifically, children should not have to worry about where their meal comes from. We touch on annually about 800,000 households. About a quarter of those households we know are severely suffering with hunger, and 75% of those households are food insecure. What that means is they lack access to healthy, nutritious foods daily. And so our aim is to put food in those children that is nutritious. Volunteerism at Houston Food Bank is essential to our success as an organization. We're the largest food bank in the world because of our output 
And that output is driven by 84,000 people walking through our building, helping us sort and distribute food. Having a partner that understands our mission and is willing to support our infrastructure to do so is substantial. And so having Pinsky as a partner to be able to support our infrastructure and our logistical beast that we are is tremendous. Because of their partnership with us, we were able to serve 40% more meals last summer, which equates to about 600,000 meals went out to children between June and August. In previous years, we had never served that many children. We were able to drive over 120,000 miles to do that. No major breakdowns, dependable, efficient equipment. And so the Houston Food Bank thanks Penske for the relationship. I can't tell you how much it fills me up to see that I'm able to make sure a child has something to eat and that that mom can take a sigh of relief. I just fell in love with the mission to have women get together and do things for the better good. The more opportunities I had to get involved, I did. My manager, was a mentor for me, introduced me to the Penske Women's Network. The Penske Women's Network started, I, I believe it was around 2009. It was a place for women in the organization to grow professionally through networking and mentorships with helping the community. We made the decision we were either going to help women or we would help children. I think there are people that are always willing to help that is a common thread throughout anyone that works for the organization. It's just who we are. We are very passionately personal. We take care of people. We just push ourselves to do as much as we can. We know the company well enough. We know what our Penske brand is. We live it, we breathe it. It's just part of the culture. I think anybody that joins the organization, that's probably an attribute that their manager looks for. It's part of my role as a leader to showcase that and get people excited to join me. A lot of us just sort of get, you know, teary-eyed. These children, they are our future. I hire a lot of people into this organization and I tell people I'm looking for the next leaders of our company. It escalates beyond Penske. Growing up in a single parent household where you had that strong female figure, I wanted to emulate that. I'm a mother, I have two children, I've been a working mother. I know what it's like to really try to balance both work and family. It was important to me that my children learned to appreciate what they had, but to also make sure that they helped others who needed help. It's been a big part of my life. It continues to be a big part of my life. We love to feed people. It's not only the physical feeding of them, but we also feel we're feeding their minds and their souls. I've been with Denny's almost 13 years now, and it is a company that does really give back. And I think when the opportunity came up when Hurricane Harvey hit Houston, and a lot of our stores were knocked out of commission, we saw this opportunity to go and help the people of Houston. We spent a week there feeding thousands of people in Houston, and Hurricane Irma came up in Florida. We spent a week there, again, feeding another seven or 8,000 people. It was just so inspirational for me. When I did come back and we talked about building our own truck, I raised my hand right away. I was like, I want to lead this. I want to be the one to do it. And in the beginning of 2018, we started that adventure of designing, building the new mobile relief diner. When you actually go and work the truck and you're out there with people, talking to them as they come up in line, it's heartwarming, it's touching. Everybody that comes and works at the diner, and that can be our franchisees, local employees that come and work there, they are all absolutely inspired. I think people never thought, wow, Look at this, we can, we can go out and show people how we give back during times of disasters. To date, we've served 28,000 people. It is very critical for us to partner with the kind of company that's gonna understand what we're doing, why we're doing it, and will be there uh, to support us in any way that we need it. Building this trailer, we really looked at it and said, we're, we're not in the trucking business. It was very important to know that Penske is always available to help us and have a real passion for what we're doing. You know, it's one thing they can help us because we're a customer, 
but I think they go beyond it. They really look at having that Penske truck, uh, that cab connected to our mobile diner as a big element of the Penske giving back. And we, we feel exactly the same way. I think when I was given this task, probably didn't realize at the time how connected and emotional I would become with it. It's something I could just keep doing. I would encourage anybody who maybe feels like they would like to give back but are reluctant to do it, to just jump in. It's gonna have a big impact. My mom stayed home with us, uh, did everything with us, showed up to all of our sporting events, just was always there and did everything we needed. The first time she was diagnosed, I was 10. It was different then because we didn't really know what was going on. We knew she was sick. We knew we were all wearing headbands because she was. The second time that she got breast cancer, that was about 20 years after her first battle. So we thought, obviously, that she was free and clear, and then it came back. And I think it was then that, that her and I just kind of decided, hey, we need to do something about this. You know, I can use my voice and I can come to Penske and get involved and do whatever I needed to do. And then as she progressively got sicker, uh, I just promised her I'd make her proud for the rest of her life, so, and beyond. So this is what I'm doing for her starting this pink out. I started it five years ago and this, this facility has really embraced it. It just means a lot that these people really care about me and my family, so. When we first started it, I went to a hobby store and bought out all their pink t-shirts for everybody and ordered pink latex gloves and pink safety glasses. And then a couple other locations in our area caught wind of it and they decided to join. So that first year, I think we had maybe about 200 participants. This year, like fast forward, we have over 10,000 people that are participating, different fundraisers across the country, different people doing community service, raising money for mammograms, raising awareness. I think she'd be amazed, but I don't think she'd be shocked because she knows that, you know, I, I <laughs> start crying. Uh, I fight for her and I fight so other people don't have to go through what we did. It's been amazing. It's been just like a wild ride to work with the people I work with here that help to push it and promote it. It's a big family. You know, they, they helped me through times with my mom. They were there for me. They let me do what I needed to do. She's taught me that family's everything. And to show up for the people that you love when times are good, but show up when times are not good. I guess those are the most important times. I feel like Pink Out really started people to be like, oh, I can do that too for a different cause. Every week there's a different story about different ways people are giving back and it's just, it's just been so amazing.